Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year, welcome to 2022. Let's hope it's better than the last two years have been. So I started this tradition a couple of years ago, I think originally on my vlog channel, but I decided I'd do it on my main channel this year, and that is showing you guys what I got for Christmas in 2021. And yes, I am filming this in my pajamas, on the floor, in my bedroom, because it's that time of year where I have no idea what day it is, what the date is, is it the 3rd, is it the 4th, I think it's the 4th of January, and it's still a bank holiday, bizarrely here, and so it's a bit confusing. <laughs> I actually really hate this time of year because I usually like to work and have the structure of the days and when it's like, is it a bank holiday? Are people working? Aren't they? It's just like, ah. But moving on to the video, the main part that you actually want to see here, I have divided my presents up into sort of two sections. One is what I got in my stocking and one is what I got actual presents that I unwrapped under the tree. So in no particular order at all, I'm gonna just hold up the things that I've got. So this, First item is a traditional thing in a stocking, at least in the UK, I don't know if it is anywhere else, but it is a bag of gold coins. I also got a little pot of Pringles, because this is one of my favourite snacks ever, has been since I was a little kid, so uh, that's tradition for me to get one of those. And keeping with the food theme, the other thing I got was this pack of Ritter Sport Praline chocolate. If you have not had this, you have not lived. It is the best thing ever, so I'm really stoked I got one of them. Really hard to find, you have to get this on Amazon I think. I also got a little notebook which says make every day your masterpiece. You can never have too many notebooks, I love scribbling on notebooks, I often write out, I do business stuff on them, I have a whole stash of them so I love having little notebooks. I also got a pack of socks, these are monkey socks which I think are made from uh, like recycled materials or, oh no, monkey socks is a not-for-profit and donates 50% of net profits equally between three partner MS charities. So it goes towards supporting people with multiple sclerosis. I also got a new electric toothbrush because my old one has died. I got a pair of household gloves made from Fairtrade FSC certified rubber, 100% plastic free, 100% compostable, which is really awesome because I do always use rubber gloves whenever I'm doing the washing up because I just have a thing about getting my hands, so I really don't like it, so I always wear rubber gloves, so this was actually a really cool thing to find. Also on the eco topic, I have this eco egg laundry egg, um, which I spotted in, I think it was Lakeland, and then I added onto my Christmas list. And so it's got no harmful chemicals, kind of skin, and it basically replaces uh, laundry detergent. So there's a little bit of a, um, instructions on the back of how you use that there. So really looking forward to trying that out. And the final thing I got in my stocking, oh no, not exactly. Uh, second to last thing I got in my stocking was this Perfect Crime puzzle book. I love puzzles. I love doing escape rooms, all that sort of stuff. Critical thinking, outside, you know, outside the box thinking, I love it. So this is really cool and I've already started doing some of the little um, puzzles on the inside that you have to, to solve. So this is really great, I thought, for like traveling as well. And the last thing which I haven't actually got here was a little scratch card which I got in my stocking, which I actually did and I won six pounds on, which was really awesome. So moving on to what I got as actual presents under the tree, because in my house we have stocking things which are not wrapped, they go in an actual stocking, and then we have gifts from people who uh, wrap them and they're the ones that are under the tree and we usually do this uh, after lunch. So the first thing I've got here is some more socks. These are the 100% recycled fabric socks. Uh, can never have enough socks. I seem to get through my socks making holes in them all the time at the moment. This envelope is kind of similar to the puzzle crime book. It's actually um, a puzzle that you have to solve. So it's got like some instructions and there's some little bits in here. I have a feeling when I looked at it, yeah, that I've actually um, done this particular puzzle last year because my mum got it for my cousins who ended up not coming because of Covid so I ended up doing one of the puzzles that she bought for them which I think was this exact one but it's been a while since I've done it so I'll be curious to try this again and see if I remember anything uh, but this was from my godmother which uh, was really cool because she knows I love escape room stuff. Another thing I got under the tree was this little bubble hat that my mum knitted for me and uh, bless her I just off it mentioned offhandedly a couple of days I think before Christmas how I thought it'd be really cool to get a hat with like two bubbles because I'd seen these sorts of things for kids and I was like oh I really like the look of that 
and um, so I really wanted this sort of two roll hat so she knitted this for me and put it in the stocking under the tree unfortunately it doesn't actually fit me but my mum is so amazing at knitting that she can make this thing up in like less than an hour so she's already knitted me a new one which I have in the hallway I didn't go and get it but it's basically just a darker blue and actually instead of this sort of square shape it's rounded and has slightly smaller um, pom-poms, uh, which I really, really love. Uh, it's a shame this doesn't fit, but I'm sure I'll find somebody it does fit. Then my next gift that I got, this is probably the biggest thing that I got for Christmas, and it is, this is really exciting, a new vlogging camera. So this is the Sony ZV-1 made for vlogging vlogging camera, because I've had my Canon G7X, it's the original one, I think since like 20, I wanna say since like 2015, maybe even earlier than that. And it's great like quality wise in terms of the image, but it has this really annoying background noise to it, uh, which has bugged me for years. And I've tried everything to get rid of it and I can't. So I was thinking, actually it's been several years I've had this camera now, technology moves really fast. It's time I think for a new one. And so I put this on my list. I was so stoked that I actually got it because it really is awesome. And it's not actually in this box, it's just the box now. Um, I've already got it out and tried it. And the background noise is so much better. It's so much quieter than my last camera. So really, really pleased about that. And then another present that I actually really, really loved was a pair of pajamas that I've got. So I usually just sleep in like a slouchy top like this and my underwear, but I did really want a proper cotton pajama top. It's kind of hard to hold this up and show you, I guess. Let me do it one of the buttons. As you might be able to tell, this really needs a wash, so. Uh, but this is kind of what it looks like, and it has some matching, like, three-quarter length trousers, and I am so in love with this. This is from my uncle. Um, I absolutely adore these pyjamas, so I am super, super stoked that I got them. They were on my list as well, and I, was I didn't have any particular pattern in mind, but these are just gorgeous, so I love them. And then finally, for the actual gifts I have here with me physically, um, I asked my cousin, when I was exchanging messages with my cousin to ask what he'd like and he asked what I'd like, I asked for some sort of eco-friendly body wash because my current body wash had just about run out and he <laughs> amazingly bought me quite a lot of stuff so I got this Faith in Nature, I think this is grapefruit and orange body wash, there's two of them in a pack and uh, oh funny story actually, he thought they were like this size so when they came he was quite shocked um, but there's those two and then also, he got me some lavender and geranium hand wash, so some soap as well, which is really awesome. So, gonna be absolutely fine for hand wash and uh, body wash for ages to come, I think. And then there are two things which I haven't got here. One is an Amazon voucher, which I was given by my uncles, my, my cousin's dad, different uncle from the one who gave me the uh, pajamas. And I also got a slow cooker from my mum. Now this wasn't actually under the tree uh, because she couldn't decide which size to get me. So we actually went shopping in the Boxing Day sales, I think a day or two after Christmas. And we went and bought a 1.8 litre crock pot slow cooker. And honestly, I have been loving this thing. I've been trying to get into the habit of cooking more for myself, of having healthier meals. And I think this is really gonna help me because I'm just so lazy. So being able to throw it in the slow cooker uh, I think it's going to be really great and I've been trying out lots of recipes recently and so far so good so hopefully I'll be able to keep that up but that was another really awesome present that I got. So that is what I got for Christmas in 2021. I have to say as awesome as all these presents are the best thing about Christmas this year was that we actually got to have my cousin and my uncle come and spend it with us because last year they were supposed to come down and because of Covid at the last minute we had to cancel. Um, so it was really kind of a, a low Christmas in 2020. But this year, well, last year technically, uh, we actually had them come to us and it was just so nice to have some other people there and it really made Christmas special this year. So that was the nicest thing and probably the greatest gift of all that we got last year. But thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you managed to have a good Christmas wherever you are in the world and that you were able to see your family if that was safe for you. I'm really looking forward to making more videos in the coming year and to sharing some new cool things that are happening and some exciting stuff that's ongoing. Uh, so hopefully you wanna stick around for that and if you do, make sure you subscribe and I will see you next week. Thanks so much for watching guys, bye bye.